Hey Uncharted community, it's Robert Cogburn again, lead multiplayer game designer over here on Uncharted 3. And I'm Robert Ryan, game designer on Uncharted 3. And today we're going to go over our biggest patch ever, patch 1.13, which features a host of new systems, DLC, and gameplay changes. So let's go over them right now. We've added over 100 new custom parts, including 28 custom hero villain head items that will increase and decrease your stats during gameplay. They're now unique head items for every in-game character, including those added from DLC. We've also added new treasures to accompany these various in-game items. For instance, you'll be able to collect new treasure sets to unlock the custom hero and villain head items with stats. We've added 50 new trophies to the Uncharted 3 multiplayer experience. Now, as you play through the various DLC, you will earn these trophies. Each DLC pack has 10 trophies assigned to it. There are also two new legacy levels. Each legacy level unlocks new items, badges, and emblem pieces that you can only unlock by achieving these legacy levels. For those of you who don't have time to reach a certain level, or just really want a specific item that you couldn't get before, we've added new microtransactions so you can purchase those items. For instance, we've added the multiplayer event items such as the PAX Gmall or the Comic-Con t-shirt to our microtransactions roster, and you'll be able to purchase those through the in-game store. While you can earn some of the new custom items by leveling up to reach new legacy levels or finding the right treasure sets to earn hats, we do have specific new custom items such as the Jack Goggles that will only be purchasable through the in-game store. In addition, we've also added two new character skins, the Jin and our Make Dot Believe winner, Spider. All of Spider's content comes for free. Spider comes complete with custom weapons, custom skins, and six custom taunts. Speaking of taunts, we've also added 17 brand new taunts. So go ahead, go out there and express yourself. You're introducing block mesh maps to the lab. These are maps made up completely of colored block mesh. We'll be periodically adding and changing up these newly designed maps to the lab playlist. Patch 1.13 also debuts our brand new tournament system. Here you'll be given 10 tickets each week to participate in weekly online tournaments that allow you to earn in-game prizes based on your tournament score that qualifies you for them. If you burn through your 10 tournament tickets through the week, you can always go to the PS Store to purchase more. Go ahead and check out NaughtyDog.com for more information on the tournament system soon. Lastly, features-wise, we added the Sniper Pistole TDM game type to the advanced game settings. Now, you'll be able to play this lab game type with your friends in custom games. On the gameplay side of things, first, we've adjusted the Gmall. We thought the aim was a bit too steady, so we've gone ahead and adjusted the recoil. We made a change to Team Objective. Now, Team Deathmatch will be the last objective played so that a tie can be broken by some good old-fashioned deathmatch. Another thing we've addressed is quitting out of co-op. Previously, quitting out of co-op would count as a loss, so we've gone ahead and fixed that. Additionally, we had an issue that if the marked man left the game, no one else would get marked. We went ahead and fixed that too. Speaking of stats, because of the advantages in weapons, lab games will no longer count towards the leaderboards. Regarding medals, we've addressed two. The first is death from above. Now you need to be at least two meters above the ground to receive this medal. The second medal is here, hold this. Now you'll be able to earn more than one medal of this type in a match. Finally, a few fixes happen for gameplay issues that have been around for a while. Previously, gunfire was silent when you were using a shield. Now you'll be able to hear your bullets. Teleporting with the idle while using smoke bomb is no longer possible. You also fixed the bug that allowed for players to remotely control the turret with a shield. Last but not least, Cloak Level 3 will now be properly immune to the effects of the disruption kickback. Well, there you have it. Patch 1.13 is the biggest patch Naughty Dog's ever released. Keep an eye out at NaughtyDog.com for future events like upcoming labs and community events. Also, keep an eye out for the patch. 1.13 drops this August. Buddy, high five. PlayStation.